Shot clock under 10. Ellis. Oh, tough shot. Ellis going to work again. Nice pass to Williamson. A much better offense from Louisville over the last three, four minutes. You know, if, I, I think I think for Louisville they've got it. They they've done much better. Louisville has numbers and finds a wide open man. It's Williams. Nice find by Ellis too. Uh, right now, it, uh, Williams has got a cramp in his leg. Look out! Oh, what a finish! L Ellis the third. Terrell Williams colliding what, what, in the air goes down. But what you were didn't you didn't see before that was. But at least he contested it. And you don't want Louisville to fall in love with the three either, because that's not how they're going to get back in the game. They're going to get back in the game by doing yeah. things like that. They're, they're going to get back in the game by taking the ball to the basket. Close the deficit to five. 26-21. Paladin. Forcing Navy into a very tough start. There's that defensive pressure again. L. Ellis that time just into the game, and now Samuel Williamson leads it. The guy who was on mop duty had to abort mission <laughs> and head back under the hoop because of how quickly Cross got rid of it. And L. Ellis distributing a beautiful block. Withers was the trailer, but couldn't corral it cleanly. Ellis slashing back for Williams at the rim. Boy, that was really something, you know, Withers. Cannot go back to that earlier habit where they were settling for contested jumpers. Oh, and into the paint and it rolls in to tie it at 46. Continue to get the ball into the paint. Great pass. Williams rocks the rim. Louisville Five seconds patient. to shoot. Uh, can't be patient now. Five seconds. End of the shot clock, and it rims in from Al Ellis. Generous roll, and the Cardinals needed it. Now David Kiefer told us, look, when you're in the one-bid league, and you know it's a one-bid league, it's all about conference play, as Al Ellis buries his second triple, and it's the largest lead of the night. Nice job by Sturdivant. Cross got free on the baseline, out of bounds, and he scores it, and he's got a chance at a three-point play. And again, they're scoring another one inside. This is just poor defense. Good execution, but poor defense defending the out-of-bounds play. And again, they... I think Louisville does, but again, I don't think there are many shooters. I think they're more like L. Ellis here like that, getting in the paint. If he get in the paint like that, he can help turn this game and swing it. Their last coming a year ago tomorrow at Syracuse. Pitts doing a better job. Great move by L. Ellis from Durham, North Carolina. Big time move. Look at this drive and spin by L. Ellis. Big time move. The scoop. Play. They're trying to keep the ball out of the elbow. That's been hurting them. And in a 1-3-1, one, one, you're going to have someone there. And they give up the three straight away to Ellis. Evans tied up, got it free, and now poke free. Back over to Louisville. Great job by Cross to get it ahead for Ellis. He'll drive it and score. This is danger zone. We're going to see a timeout for Coach Hamilton. Getting the job done defensively, pressuring the basketball, and then coming up with turnover. Matt Cross getting to the floor, getting rid of it. The two-on-one, L. Ellis is able to finish it off. Out of the pack comes Ellis. Ellis to the paint, jumping inside, and it rolls in. They will knock off Louisville and serve the Cardinals their first conference loss of the season. Drilled here in a long one by Ellis. Well, how about Sebron, though? Two points in the first half, and as you mentioned, Merge as Curry is just one of those players who's not giving up as we're approaching that 90-second mark. Boy, Pittsburgh really struggling now. They've missed their last five shots. Scoring drought of coming up on three minutes. Kick out to the corner and a three by lock on Pittsburgh with free throws. Coming up when we continue from Pittsburgh, Cardinals back in front after the three from lock. Working right here. 36 <laughs> 28. Back to an eight point advantage for the Panthers after Hughley got the two free throws on the Wheeler foul. 
They got us to the timeout, and Ellis answers at the other end. Backcourt foul. And Ellis is so good in there. What a great job to get himself stopped. Here come the cards. Ellis coast to coast. Crawls it in. And then Quinn Pulse again. Solid game. He and Ashton Langford have done a good job. You see penetration. Curry, nice catch. Not much time on the clock. Ellis spins and shoots. And scores! Oh my! Realizing time and clock possession. Going to get it up. And how about the little dance? Go ahead and show the dance for him. And they're feeling it so far here this afternoon. Ellis for three. Yes! Weather girls, it's not raining men. It's raining threes here in Louisville. No other power conference team recruited you coming out of right. Archbishop Malloy, and it was his privilege, as Sam Williamson lays it in, it was Coach Patino's privilege to recruit you. Hanging. Hanging plus the foul, L. Ellis, for the chance for three. What a drive. And L. Ellis, a guy who was a really good scorer at the junior college level. Number two in the ACC in assist to turnover ratio. Here's a three. From way outside for L. Ellis. NBA range. It's a two point game. In the paint and on the other side. You're going to give him a little space. L. Ellis says, Thank you, ma'am. He is wet. L. Ellis goes at Bancaro. Gives it up. Pass. Finishes Sometimes players will get embarrassed on a play like that and then try to force it to make up for it. Good correction there by Malik Williams. Ellis, step back three. We are tied! Five and six in the ACC. North Carolina seven and three. Miami leads the conference at eight and two. Cross has time to fire and knocks it down. And now another opportunity for the Cards to take a lead. Ellis launching, yeah! Welcome to the L. Ellis Show. We call him LL, not just because ladies love. He was just unable to finish it, but him attacking is going to be their best case scenario. They're not fouling. Well, you actually don't have to foul. But Ellis comes away with a theft, and he will lay it in. Cole Swider with the setup, and the Orange back up by four. Long range three. Tell you what, number three is feeling it these days. At the basket, and then L. Ellis from deep is wet. In the last two games coming in, he was six for six. First half, he was two out of three. What's been clicking for Swider lately, you think, Chris? He's got four rebounds as well. Long three by Ellis. And that's one of those in the locker room, Hub tells you, hey, Dane, good looking out. That was an assist. Trainer at the other end. Good position inside. That is where Mike Pickies wants Jalen Withers to be. Taking that opportunity to get a chance to talk to L. Ellis. Ellis with the beautiful find inside to Jalen Withers, who's able to finish through the contact in the end one. And Mike Pickies wants to talk to L. Ellis about the when those opportunities have come up in this game. Ellis, a blur to the bucket again, and one. L. Ellis is my guy. And normally I have a conversation with L before the games and say, what are you going to show me today? Getting Wardenberg his first bucket on the evening. Ellis, fade away, two. Ellis, up the wing for Louisville. A long bomb, and that's the first level three, and that was for the Ohio River. Baycott tries to back down Williams, kicks it to Love, and that's an air ball. And then Davis oh. out ahead of the pack at the other end. Plenty of time to organize defensively. Three is good from West, who hit from the logo. Ellis to the paint, scoops it, yes. A little extra spin at the tail end to make sure it's stuck. Shot clock to nine. Ellis lost the dribble. Williams in tight for two. 
<laughs> That's not what you said. Shot clock is down to three. Well, I did say a party. <laughs> you can't have a party without booze. Williamson on the run out will slam that down. And Virginia on top, 51-47 to heave by Ellis. He makes the shot.